Join Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Boone, North Carolina. So we're here in Boone. I'm loving the caramelized onions. That's the bowberry with ghost pepper. Oh yeah, it's really good. We wanted to come to one of our favorite places. Yes, yeah, that's that good. is good. Yeah, it's very oh, good. All right. We have, what did we get? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Right. Peach and sugar cookies. Refreshing. Refreshing. <laughs> Boone is at the heart of the Southern Appalachian High Country, located in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Western North Carolina. It is home to the 20,000 student Appalachian State University, as well as the region's first ski area. It is a great launching point for some absolutely spectacular hiking destinations, highlighted by some of the highest mountains in the Eastern United States. While you experience some of the most beautiful scenery in the southeast, enjoy some of the top food destinations in this southern mountain town. Maggie and I Stick Boy Bread Company. The Stick Boy Bread Company was started in 2001 using traditional ingredients and methods to provide a wide variety of baked goods to the North Carolina high country. In 2013, they opened Stick Boy Kitchen a cafe with the same creativity and style located conveniently off of 321 on Boone Heights Drive. This quaint restaurant offers breakfast plates, bagels, soups, sandwiches, and salads. But don't worry, this location also has breads and pastries made from scratch every day. This is called Son of a Gouda. I was right. Look at that. Look at that cheese. The ham. Egg. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm loving the caramelized onions. Signature happy plate. So we're gonna try this joint, whole lot of donut. Whole lot of donut serves up handcrafted wagon wheel sized yeast donuts made the old fashioned way. In addition to the round things, they offer fritters, pastries, sweetbreads, cookies, gourmet popcorn, gourmet coffee, ice cream and shakes. So when that sweet tooth comes a calling, stop by whole lot of donuts conveniently located on King Street. That's the bowberry with ghost pepper. That's maple. This is a savory summer with coconut. Uh, we had, this is the Hawaiian luau with a kick banana pudding. And then this is the raspberry glaze filled. I think I got them. We are still here in Boo. We are at the local lion. Get some coffee. The Local Lion is a more elegant coffee roastery and donut shop serving the Boone area from their 321 location for over 10 years. They turn out small batch craft coffees with a full espresso bar. They also have a 1930s award-winning donut recipe that is especially noteworthy. <laughs> okay. Wow, yours is just not gonna be as exciting though, but okay, there, there we go. All right, good. Coyote Kitchen is a family-owned Southwest Caribbean soul food restaurant that has become a food favorite since its creation back in 2003. They source foods locally and even display local artwork. They have a variety of unique meal presentations to please a range of appetites, and they are particularly proud of their vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free options. The new thing, getting 
hard kombucha and we got the flying embers, so you excited about that. Yeah. Aiden's having beer too. <laughs> Habanero, so that's the hottest, and then the, the mango, and then this is a cranberry, and then that's just a regular pico. Habanero, it's got a little kick to it. It's really good. All right, the Karina boat. Uh, well, what is it? It's not a boat. It's a. It's a bowl. It's a, it's a donut bowl. It looks really good, but there's no cheese. No. How is it? What what is your critique of the food, Maggie? Do you like it? Oh, she gets a we get we get the dog the tail wag for that one. <laughs> Like it a, is good. Yeah, it's like it's like creamy, a little spicy, and it's very light. The boat is big. So we're here in Boone, and we got finished with our hike, and we're all very hungry, and so we wanted to come to one of our favorite places to eat. Wow, craft eatery. Wildcraft Eatery can be found downtown serving up what they call good mood food. This is not only one of our favorite restaurants in Boone, but is one of our favorite restaurants in the entire state. Great outdoor seating as well. A constant rotation of specials often highlight local takes on international cuisine. Their execution is spot on and their eco-friendly mindset is appreciated. They source locally whenever possible, including breads from Stick Boy Bakery. Oh, I like they frost these glasses. Ooh, Look pretty. at that. Oh, I, th I think I've seen this on the menu before, but I know it's the pork tamale. Baja Mahi. Not Bahi Maha. Oh, you got the, oh, I've had this before, right? That's the, the garam masala? masala yellow curry. Yes, yeah, that's that is good. good. That's really good. It's hard for enhanced flavor. <laughs> so the thing I like about this place is their take on all of the southwestern Mexican dishes. Here's my tempa tacos. Oh my gosh, they look really good. <laughs> Mint Indian Cuisine is located just off Highway 321 on Boone Heights Drive, next to Stick Boy Kitchen. This upscale restaurant brings the exquisite spices and flavors of Indian food to the high country providing a date-worthy atmosphere and impeccable service. But make no mistake, the food is what makes this place special, serving up marinated meats and succulent breads in their tandoor clay oven. Vegetable korma is level two. It's a level four. But what what kind of chicken? Oh, it's uh, tandoori chicken tikka. Oh, okay. That's really good. It's like a slow beat. It's good though. Yeah, yeah it's oh. very good. Oh, all right. Yeah. Proper pays homage to Southern cuisine, providing a charming atmosphere in the old 19th century jailhouse, Boone's oldest building. 
They feature one of the best brunches in the high country and serve up southern comfort foods including collard greens, sweet potato casserole, homemade meatloaf, and delectable scratch made desserts. <laughs> because you usually don't look this good when you come off the trail. I usually like something pretty tart. This is like creamy and a little dry. It's real. It's really smooth and easy. Well, I have. This is the French Broad River. So the French Broad River is a river in in Asheville. But this is in a, a Scotch A. Look at that. Looks like it just needs a bra. What do we have here? We have, what did we get? It's potato cakes. Oh, those are the potato cakes. <laughs> I was expecting them to be much flatter. <laughs> potato cakes. Is that any good? I can smell. That's delicious. That's top notch. Just look at it. So let me, I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. Wow. All right. So yours. Now I know that was the hot, hot chicken. Dipped chicken. Hot dipped chicken. Yep. So you got the collard greens. But what's this? That's the tomato soup. Tomato roasted red peppers. Oh, roasted red pepper tomato. Yeah. Dude, I got the soup as well. But it is the uh, cauliflower curry. I got. And then I got the pintos. Soups, I think we both agree. This curry cauliflower is, is the winner. That's delicious. Fried chicken in there. But it's so soft and tender inside and just enveloped in this crispy, crunchy, flavorful crust. That does step it up. <laughs> <laughs> she took the plate, but it was very happy. <laughs> Blue Deer Cookies serves up cookies, ice cream, and coffee from their downtown location on King Street or their vintage restored camper site on Highway 321. The ice cream hails from Homeland Creamery in Julian, North Carolina. Cookie, cookie sandwiches are their specialty and they do it superbly. in these ice cream cookie sandwiches. It's peach and sugar peach cookie. Peach and sugar cookie. So it's summertime. Refreshing. Sort of refreshing, <laughs> okay. Good, isn't it? It is good. That is a good choice. But they're original. Oh, cookies and cream. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.